Hey everybody and welcome back to Art La Carte. Now drawing hats on people can be a little bit tricky so hopefully this video will give you a couple of tips and tricks to drawing hats specifically baseball caps but you could use a lot of these ideas for drawing other types of hats as well. Before I get into that if you guys could do me a big favor and hit that thumbs up button that'd be so awesome. Also if you're brand new to my channel hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Plus stay tuned to the end of this video because I have some fun art to share with you guys from other viewers. Let's go ahead and do this tutorial in steps. So step number one is to draw your head base. You don't have to make it super detailed at this point. I want a little bit more detailed than normal. Basically, you just want to block out the direction that your head is looking and kind of the overall shape of your head. That can be one of the big mistakes that people make when drawing heads is they don't draw the full head underneath the hat. So when they put the hat on, it's actually cutting into where their skull would be. Make sure that you have the full head drawn out first. Some side tips with this is to remember to draw with a pencil because we're going to be erasing. And also if you use light pressure, that's going to help you in the erasing process. Step number two is we're going to create an arched line that represents the band of the hat. Now remember, this isn't going to be a straight line across the head. We want to have it arched up a little bit. That's going to help give the impression that it's wrapping around the head. After that, we're going to actually create the cap part. So we're going to draw that shape. Now here's a tip with that. Generally, most hats don't fit snugly over the entire head. There's a little bit of space between your head and the top of the hat. So when I draw that shape, I'm going to have it come up a little bit higher than the actual head. Again, this isn't the time to get into the detail. We're just blocking in the shapes. Step number three, to create the bill or the brim of the hat. Now this all depends on the type of hat. Some baseball caps are really curved down. Some people like them really flat, but you're gonna create that kind of S shape look. It's really hard to describe, so that's why we have a video here, but it's just going to kind of come up and down and around. Again, this changes completely if you move the head slightly to one direction to the other. So using a reference can be a big plus. If you don't have photos, put a hat on yourself, look in the mirror, draw what you see. And basically that is it. Now, when I say that is it, drawing a hat in three steps, I don't mean to say well, that is so easy. For you, it might be easy. For others, it might not be easy. For me, drawing hats has always been a super pain. So it's taken a lot of practice for me to be able to draw hats. And I still have to look at reference photos when I'm drawing a hat that I don't generally draw a lot. But here is the last tip for drawing a hat, which is to add a little bit of shadow underneath the brim. Adding a little shadow is going to help your hat just have the extra little pop. So there are a lot of fun little details that you can add to your hat. You can add color, outline it, and make some fun designs or decals on your hat. If you post pictures of your drawings, make sure to tag me in those photos because I love seeing your guys' artwork. Of course, drawing a baseball cap is different than, say, drawing like a cowboy hat or a beanie or something like that. So if there is a hat that you are particularly having a hard time with, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to create a video where I draw that hat for you. Speaking of drawing, it is time to show you guys the results of the artist challenge. For those of you who don't know, every once in a while, I want to say every month, but I've been really bad about it the last couple of months, I put in a challenge somewhere in one of my videos. I challenge you guys to draw something and I don't really advertise it in like the title so you never know what video it's going to be so you just have to watch the videos to find the artist challenge and then I take as many of those drawings as I possibly can and showcase them in one of my videos so this challenge was found in the how to draw a cat video that I did two weeks ago and the challenge was to draw your pet or if you don't have a pet to draw the pet you would like to have and there are some amazing submissions so thank you to everyone who shared your art with me now if you missed out on this art challenge don't worry there will be more and you can always do this art challenge of course i've already posted the artwork for this challenge but if you draw your pet and would like to share that picture with me make sure to tag me in your photos i have instagram twitter facebook and all of that is in the description box of this video well thank you guys again for hanging out with me in this video and until next time god bless you guys and we'll see you later Bye bye